And then we're going to haul corn out of another bin site. We're going to go over there and move the snow in a little bit. But got the auger out and a tread come right off that tire. So Kobe went to town and got a used one. I hope it's a used tire. They only get like 10 miles a year on them. bearing's a little stiff, but it's only got to go three miles. Oh, look at that peach that they gave us. Are you kidding me? Nice. Now we're taking the 105U and the bucket slow blower over to uh, another bin site that I rented. About a 30,000 bushel bin. We're gonna get the snow moved so we can haul corn out of there next week. Got Kobe coming with the plow pickup. Clean her up after I'm done blowing. Now I got the snow moved. That was hard as cement to get through that drift there. That moved around. Here's the bin we rented. 30,000 bushel. And here's our next problem. The sump is solid ice so we gotta chip that out so we can get the auger under the there joys of winter get ready to haul corn day today it's actually mid 30s but the wind's blowing kind of cold i think max thanks i'm gonna run the auger over to that bin that i rented i worked on the ice yesterday the elevator isn't going to be able to take corn until tomorrow, but we're going to try and get this all set up and load trucks for morning. That's the plan for today. Now well, we got the bin going. So far the corn's in good shape. 30, little 32,000 in here. Only old steel here. Well, I didn't video it, but we uh, YouTube it and figured out how to tear these mirrors apart. It's pretty simple. Just pop this bottom one mirror, run the mirror all the way in on the bottom. This bottom one pops up, and then you let that hang down. You stick your hand in behind the mirror right above the wires for the uh, electric heat, push a tab in, push it up a little bit, and run the mirror motor out, and then the, the mirror just pops right out of there. So, any questions, YouTube it. Never a good sign when you get to the elevator and there's 11 trucks ahead of you, two in the pit. the second load. I have, still haven't got my trailer for the new truck yet. Waiting on that. There's the cement sump that fills up the water. Where we're loading up now. Like I said, rain all day tomorrow and then getting cold again. So trying to do what we can. January 16th and it's raining 37 degrees had a nice snowpack on the yard and now it is one sheet of ice 
This is not going to be fun hauling grain or doing anything. Augers froze. Slipping on the ice of the semis. Oh, why couldn't we save the rain till springtime? I'll take snow over this any day. Good morning. Uh, Tuesday. Can't even think of what day it is. Yesterday it was pouring rain. Snow melting, 38 degrees. Today we had a little overnight, had a little snow. The yard was sheet of ice yesterday. I'm gonna try and haul some corn today. Conveyors are froze, augers are froze. I think I'm gonna haul out of the west bins. I think those will be easier to get going. I don't wanna try and run the lake today. Wait for a warmer day for that. Now I'm still waiting to use my new truck, but I don't have my trailer. And I don't have it wired up for electric tarps yet. I could, but I don't know what kind of plug-ins they all use. And the wiring should come with a trailer, so. Still using the old girls, old reliables. I probably showed this before, but I really like this setup. Don't have one guy can just load corn, you don't have to set up augers. I got all three bins tied together into one uh, 12 inch auger. You can run two bins at one time. Don't have to clean up when we're done, don't have to set up when we start. So, controls are all right there. Really like this setup. Waiting in line with Max again. We only got one dump open. I don't know why. One truck ahead of me. Max has got the right idea. Take a nap, wait it out. Well, they're taking the sample at the pit because the probe's still broke. But we got load number seven for this truck. Colby got three loads after school, college. So five more tomorrow and we'll have this contract filled. I'll have to wait till February. But we are gonna probably be starting to pick up that pile there next week. Excavator and wagons again. Corn pile coming. Max, if you can see him down here, he's getting all the bird, birds contained up in the trees. That's his morning job. No birds on the ground. We'll get him, Max. Got four loads to go and finish my January contract. And this is the last week of the 90,000 pound roll. Hopefully they extend it, but We'll see. Kind of nice not having the DOT around. And I don't haul 90,000, but it's nice not getting caught for 81, 82. Well, we got the February, February, January contract finished. Last four loads in, and I just had enough time to get it rinsed off. It's 32 degrees, so. Probably be fro solid when I go to you for next. The winter storm warning out starting at uh, about a couple hours from now. Have to get old blue in the shop. Put the car in the shed. Get ready for the winter storm warning. Seems like every time they. Uh, Say this though, we get about half of what we what they say. They're saying four to nine 30 mile an hour winds, but we'll see. I'll let you know in the morning what it looks like. Oh, I was gonna show you this. Our yard is just solid ice. That's probably that last clip I just took. It was I was probably walking like I had a cob up my butt, but it was I'm trying to walk on the ice. It's slippery and snot out here. I showed you guys the new semi that I got, or different semi, but this is what paid for it. 
I sold this ripper 2020 it only has 250 acres on it you can still see the stickers on the blades sold this to a guy just south of here so about as new as you can get without being new so I sold that and rolled the money into a semi which we kind of needed so that's how that happened good morning well we did get snow last night I'm looking probably about six inches or so I suppose on the sidewalk here kind of a heavier wetter snow of course the wind's got to start picking up too now never can just stay in one place uh, it's a uh, Pretty deep right here by the shop, probably two feet deep. Wind's been blowing it around. Let me get old blue out, see if she can push it. Except it's solid ice underneath from when it melted. So we'll see. Here that we gotta get the snowblower out.